Yes, Esto. Well, we, we have acquired rope. I have to manage a way up. I want a game like uh, Baldur's Gate or um, what's another game. I oh yeah, Underrail, where you just press tab and you can see everything that you can interact with. It's so nice. Hmm. I never figured out what that was. <laughs> he still hasn't figured out what it was. It's two by four. Nice. Okay. Combine that with that. And we have a grappling hook. Yeah, bitches! Whee! Okay, that's enough of that. I have to manage a way up. Well, yeah, use the... Uh. There we go. It's Batman time! Like that'd be really hard to throw. A long way up. Okay, we're back in here. Um, what's this book? I think everyone has at least a couple of these. What books? Ooh, what's this? Ah, nice. Very cool. I want to see what that note is. Surely it's important in the game. And in this closet, it's where Skull has been hiding the hookers. Maybe not. What the hell? Oh yeah, those have been being found at the uh, victims. Huh. Okay. Huh. I guess we just leave. Fair enough. Down we go. Don't like remove the rope or anything. Oh, he's back. I guess we did. Nice. Okay, so we have an ancient looking telegram small spikes found at the park's crime scene. Found in the sewers of the burnt neighborhood. So, Bixman the Park, Burnt Neighborhood, and found near the bridge. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What have we got? Ah, speculation on the Burnt Orphanage. The killer's victims have all been prostitutes. Does he have something against them? His methods seem to indicate some kind of plan at work. Maybe he just hates women, and red light ladies are the easiest for him to hunt. Everything he does is a clue about him, and the more I can figure out, the closer I am to nailing the bastard. I don't know what's worse, expecting that things are going to turn out badly, or being right when they do. The orphanage. I knew it was going to come back to haunt me. First the mysterious coachman, then Stasic, and now it turns out to have been the site of one of the murders. Well, apparently we need to go there first. Did we get any new things. Ah, there we go. 
Just report on the first victims, Sasha, Constable Stasic. Uh -huh. Strange ring, local jeweler looked at it, but the jeweler lost the ring. Nice. Well, that's terrible. Serious Sabbath wound, large sharp blade, and then was eviscerated. The postmodern night wounds did not suggest the killer has any medical knowledge or skill at butchery. Killed somewhere else and then dropped off. Let's see. Okay, and then near the bridge. Nadia. Repeated stabbing followed by evisceration with a large blade. An extremely sharp blade, possibly butcher hunting knife. Deep cuts in the victim's hands. Uh, Got it. Known prostitute, dead for some hours, lack of blood at the scene, no useful boot prints, local butcher found the body, and Otokar identified the victim. Hmm. Okay. I guess let's go to the orphanage. Let's see. This one has four doodads on it. Here. Okay. Wait. Uh, this is the little... Yeah, here we go. Yes, I know. I'm supposed to use the picture. Burn neighborhood. Use the picture. Okay, so the body's here. I don't see anything unusual. Galnick and someone were talking. Okay. That bath was empty at the time. So, you gonna. Oh, I guess it's draining. This message was carved recently. Someone is leaving breadcrumbs. Well, that's awful. Does she indeed? So is that it? Hmm. Oh. Can I not do the thing anymore? Hmm. I guess not. Okay, well I guess let's go to the bridge. Actually, let's go talk to the coachman, let him know what on is okay. Not a nice thing to do. If he's here, he might be out working. Yep, yeah, no coachman. Shame. He's a neat character. Run, Gus, run! Uh, sure. There's the bridge. Well, we believe he's using the sewers to transport bodies, and there's a sewer right by the burned orphanage. And there's clearly water access here. What the hell? Ida, what the hell are you doing? Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. Didn't we talk about you staying at home safely, behind a bolted door? Yes, we did, but we also talked about me going to see the doctor. Ah, uh, yes, I remember that. So what did the doc say? Did he find the problem? Well, yes, he did. So, what's wrong? 
Can I ask you a very serious question? Okay. Now I'm worried. What is it? How serious are we? How serious? Well, uh, why do you ask? Just answer the question. I'm sorry, Ida, but where is this going? Do you love me? Yes, of course I love you. Actually, love is too small a word. I lure you, I love you, I lobe you. <laughs> what? I'm pregnant. Really? Oh my. Yes, That's really. well. That's why I've been sick for the last couple of kinda, weeks. That's kind of obvious. I see. What do you want to do? Well, there's only one thing we can do. Which is? Let's get married. Really? L let's do it in New York. I have some friends and family that can help us get started. Oh, Gus, you're wonderful. Aww. Bye, Ida. You take care of her, crazy old coachman, and you'll have my fist to answer to. Okay, definitely need to use the photo again. Uh, this one? This one. Oh my. I don't see anything unusual. Hmm. That's where the body was. Wait. The benches look different. Yeah, these have little... These look like those kind of wicker seating things, and these are just slats. Looks like the benches have been changed. Now, where are the old ones? Hmm. Well, we know the guys who work at the junkyard. We can go talk to them. A lot of leg work in this one. Shut up, Seagull. Damn critters. Uh, Peter, do you know where the benches are? Hey, Peter. Hello, Gustav. I like your name. It reminds me of my father. Oh, your, oh, father's, your father's name? name was Gustav. No, Michael. I can see why you would think that. <laughs> Anyways, I need to ask you a question. Did you guys ever receive some old public benches? Oh my God. Mm. Yeah, we did! They're right over here! Awesome. Thanks, Peter. Aha! Uh -huh. They did look different. There you are! Thank you, my very large friend. You're awesome, Peter. <laughs> you make me laugh! And it's a good thing I do. I'd hate to be on your bad side. Actually, I know what that's like. Okay. Well, that's shiny. Stuck in the bench. Killer is definitely leaving these. And this one also has four points on it. Huh. Look like you could really jack somebody up with these. Uh, let's see, what does Gus think? Slut knows. I hate picking up breadcrumbs. The message to slut knows has been carved into the wood recently, which leads me to believe the killer's playing a game. I don't really have a choice but to play along. What other choice do I have? As long as I can foresee the trap ahead, I'll be fine. It's such a relief to be on Peter's good side now. It means he doesn't ask any questions, and I don't have to try to convince him to help me. Playing mind games with him would be like bouncing a ball off a rainstorm. It's an interesting expression. See, that's why I wanted to do this game, is because it has its flaws, but, you know, like the cookie puzzle. But that's what walkthroughs are for. And, uh, I don't know. It just seems really well written. There are problems with the story that we'll get into, especially if I do the sequel. But, uh, yeah, let's not worry about that. Let's just enjoy our time together. Check in on Alina, see if she's learned anything since Apollina's gone. Hello again. <coughs> Hello, Mr. McPherson. Can you help me out with something? Of course. She is also a slut. 
I want you to take a she look knows. at this picture. Do you remember what happened? Oh, that she day? was in the photo with Skalnik. That's right. Yes, I remember. How can I forget it? I'm the one who found Katarina. Inspector Skalnik asked me a few questions. At that particular time, was there something out of the ordinary? Something you might have seen that struck you as odd? Or maybe something you know about the area that no one else does? Well, the only thing I saw that seemed out of place is that Inspector Skalnik threw something into the sewers. That's odd. Did you see what it was? No. He turned his back and he let something drop. I saw it fall between his legs. It was something shiny because it caught my eye. Well, thanks a lot for your help. You're welcome. That's not good. Well, I think we need to go check out the crime scene again. And... yeah. Let's do that, but I'm gonna take a break and go get something to eat. Ooh. That music is not a good sign. That music is a very bad sign. But that bad sign is for next time. Until then, say goodbye, guys.